Hey guys, it's Jay at MyNokiBlog.com. We're here asking some questions to Yuho, the Chief Product Officer at HMD here at MWC. Hey there. So we've just got a few questions from our readers. First one, Nokia is going pure with Android, but would they consider getting any inspiration from the graceful swipe UI from Nokia? Well, actually, if you look at Android, the navigation paradigm is left to right, so you're actually swiping a lot in Android already. The reason, the reason why we ended up going with the pure Android, I'll claim it's the purest Android actually out there, just from a technical standpoint of view on how we build the software. The reason why we're doing it is that people want simplicity, ease of use, and a very snappy experience. And now that we're building the software this way, what that also enables us to do is that we can be very fast with security updates. And we're actually the first manufacturer to commit to monthly security updates across the entire range. And trust is something that's very dear to Nokia brand. So this way you can trust your Nokia to always be safe. In terms of camera, Symbian had the 808 yes. and Windows Phone had the 1020. Will we see something along that line in terms of a camera successor on Android? We will definitely uh, continue to invest in imaging. What we're doing today is that we're making sure that in this segment you get the right image quality, whether it's low light or daylight. So this uh, design for real life as a proposition is something that we hold really dear. The uh, story on what we do uh, elsewhere in the portfolio, perhaps in the future, uh, in the future, will unfold later. So we've had Android, we've had Windows Phone, we've had Symbian. Is there any scope for any other OSs in the Nokia portfolio, such as Stablefish? So I'm very keen in doing what consumers want from us. So we're here to serve the consumers. We're here to bring the Nokia proposition to life, um, and it's it's really all, all about demand. And today, Android is the highest demand platform, so it's a very logical, logical place to go to. Can Nokia come back with a flagship or even a family of phones that are instantly distinguishable as Nokia? So we're, um, I hope that that statement holds true with what you've seen from us yesterday. So we definitely hold dear this uh, Scandinavian true pure design where it's almost like we're brave to reduce everything to its essence, to a point where everything is there for a reason. Perhaps you see that the best in the Nokia 5, where we sculpted a beautiful human form um, out of a block of 6,000 series aluminium. So what you get here is unique structural integrity and then a really beautiful shape that absolutely nests in your hand. You'll also notice that we've actually developed a new generation of antenna technology, moving the antenna at the top and bottom, leaving a beautiful, clean back. When it comes to flagships, we believe that this design philosophy, our uh, craftsmanship and the competence capabilities that we have when it comes to design and material technology, we can definitely have a unique take also on, at uh, other, other price points. And Nokia is a uniquely loved brand. It's for everyone. Nokia can exist in the highest end of the market or then in a $50 smartphone. So it's really unique in that aspect. And of course, we, we want to bring the Nokia experience to as many people as possible.